With this introduction to the Drive It Outsolation System retrofit, you will be challenged to consider what constitutes the perfect wall. We believe you will come to regard outsolation as a great looking, energy efficient, and environmentally friendly package. A solution that comes with huge benefits while leaving the tiniest of footprints behind. What is outsolation? Outsolation is a highly efficient exterior wall cladding system. It includes an integral weather resistant barrier and insulation placed on the outside of the wall cavity. Engineered within the outsolation system is the ability to drain moisture in a drainage layer located behind the insulation board. On the face of the insulation is a fiberglass mesh embedded with a drive it base coat. Finally, this is treated with a selection of numerous drive it finish options. Outsolation can be found in new construction and over existing inefficient claddings and retrofit projects. Currently, drive it outsolation represents 8% of all commercial cladding used in North America today and is used to brand many retail, commercial, and service corporations. Drive it outsolation comes with an extensive array of elegant and high performance finishes that can replicate many exterior claddings including the beautiful textures and colors of stucco. Outsolation can also replace brick masonry, stone or limestone, and granite. The insulating, or as we like to say, outsolating, expanded polystyrene component of outsolation can be revealed to create character lines as well as shape to produce cornice accents. This design flexibility helps to enhance the appearance of the selected finish, delivering virtually endless design possibilities. Here is an example of how architecturally and aesthetically majestic Outsolation truly is. Bellagio Hotel and Casino, Las Vegas, Nevada. An interesting comment on this building, the American Institute of Architecture asked 2,000 of its members to rate the most beautiful architecture in the U.S. Topping the list as the number one most significant building in the last 10 years was the Bellagio Hotel and Casino. Perhaps even more significant is that it was rated 22nd in the U.S. out of all buildings of all time. To demonstrate what constitutes a perfect wall, we need to first consider what matters the most in today's buildings. Buildings are the largest single global industry with a value over $600 billion. Unfortunately, the impact this has on our environment tends to be overlooked. Sustaining existing buildings and construction methods account for the largest drain on natural resources and energy needs today. It should not be surprising then that heating and cooling buildings accounts for 40% of all energy consumed in North America. It is clearly evident that the quickest path to a better environment is improving the energy efficiency of our buildings, reducing the impact construction has on the environment, and creating sustainable buildings. The case for drive it out solution system retrofit begins with the proposition that we are, quite simply, as green as it gets. Evidence of the thermal benefits of the outsolation system has been confirmed in a study done by Oak Ridge National Laboratory, a premier scientific research facility. They compared whole wall R values using a testing chamber or hot box that for all intents and purposes represented real world use. The study also took into account all the materials that make up a wall structure including thermal bridges and discontinuities. As you can see, Outsolation outperformed all tested materials with a far superior energy efficiency value. The positive benefits of drive it outsolation are enormous here. According to the Oak Ridge study, Outsolation is 84% more energy efficient than six other commonly used claddings including stucco, brick, concrete, wood, masonry and glass, 84 percent more efficient. Here we have a typical high-rise residential building with brick masonry exterior. Unfortunately, as with most buildings built before 1981, it has the all too familiar signs of problems that go deeper than the aesthetic shadow it casts upon our urban skyline. The most obvious sign of degradation of a building to most people are the highly visible balcony areas, 
where we can see the usual rust on the metal enclosures. While unsightly, there are less obvious concerns with a building like this that represent a much greater problem. Let's have a look at the brick masonry itself. Masonry stores water within its mass after rainfall until it is able to dry in better weather. An inadequate amount of mass to store the water or a lack of airspace behind the masonry, as is the case with this building, will lead to spalling and efflorescence issues on the face of the brick. This type of construction has proven to be unsustainable and inevitably requires a major retrofit. Some buildings have been clad with metal to hide and contain the deteriorating cladding, making the buildings look like massive silos. Inarguably, this is a very unsightly blight on the city landscape and negatively impacts the overall footprint of the building on our environment as it draws on more of our natural resources early on in its life cycle. Let's have a look at the end wall elevation and focus on the exposed floor line. Consider how inefficient and how much of a negative impact this type of construction has on the energy efficiency of the building. The uninsulated concrete floor slab is exposed to the elements, including the cold winter climate. Because the brick masonry units have been installed on the floor slab, the insulation located on the interior of the wall, if there is any at all, cannot be installed continuously to enclose the entire building. Now remember, the exposed floor line is also the perimeter of the interior floor, and so the heat loss directly affects the interior living space. A cold floor develops as the building heat is allowed to escape by the process of conduction via the uninsulated perimeter. Without argument, this type of construction leads to an extremely inefficient wall assembly with an unnecessary energy consumption, inflated operative costs, and a cold, uncomfortable living environment. To commence the drive it outsulation retrofit system, a weather-resistant barrier is installed directly to the existing brick masonry. This barrier protects the building from incidental moisture or rain penetration. Drive it barriers are breathable so as to allow contained moisture to evaporate and when made continuous, drive it barriers prevent air leakage into the building. Those of you who have worn jackets using a Gore-Tex material should understand this concept. Water and wind resistant, warm, flexible, lightweight, and breathable. A further advantage in drive it barriers is the fact that they are mastic and intimately applied directly to the substrate, eliminating any possibility of air pockets, as is problematic with paper and membrane barriers. The building is now airtight, water resistant, and breathing water vapor healthily. It is now ready for the thermal blanket of drive it expanded polystyrene to be installed. Because outsulation allows its inherent thermal value to be installed continuously, the building HVAC system will no longer be fighting to keep the building warm and the concrete floor slabs will no longer be conducting enormous amounts of heat into the outside air. Outsulating provides better wind and water resistance, prevents thermal bridging, and shields the degrading brick masonry from the elements. The building has been wrapped with a continuous thermal blanket and is now ready for a treatment of drive it base coat and mesh to provide structural integrity to the system. At this point, the building retrofit has provided all the necessary ingredients to sustain the building at a reasonable operative cost for the property manager. All that remains to be executed is the creative process of the designer. No other cladding offers the creative license of drive it outsulation. As pointed out earlier, the freedom to choose amongst drive its many options provides near limitless design possibilities. By the way, this building has been finished with drive it afterglow number 321, Terraneo Serengeti, and winter green number 518. But why stop here? Why not take the project to another level and really give the community something they can be proud of. Let's evaluate the drive it outsulation retrofit from a cost savings perspective. The data for this chart is the result of government studies conducted for or by Natural Resources Canada on buildings constructed prior to 1981 and operating in the year 2004. 
relative to all other operative costs, space heating and cooling represent 59% of the total energy consumption of the building. The Drive It Outsolation System Retrofit reduces the heating and cooling energy consumption by 20%. This represents an energy usage reduction from 59% to 47%. The impact that 20% savings on heating and cooling has on the overall operational costs of a building is remarkable. In a building built before 1981 and operated in 2004, a minimum of 12% savings is achieved with the Drive It Outsolation system retrofit. The case for Drive It Outsolation is strong with these kinds of operative cost savings. The benefits, however, do not end here. When evaluating the life cycle analysis of Drive It Outsolation, there is no other cladding system that compares. These types of analysis determine the environmental cost from raw materials to end-use sustainability. If we were to compare the original cladding construction method of brick masonry units to drive it outsolation, how would the two different products compare in terms of overall environmental cost? In fact, why limit the comparison to brick? The following series of charts are based upon data supplied by the National Institute of Standards and Technology. A study was conducted to conclude a life cycle analysis of a number of exterior cladding options, including outsolation by Drive-It. Extraction and manufacturing is the analysis of embodied energy by fuel. A lower number on this scale means the product is greener and more environmentally friendly. The production of Drive-It outsolation requires less energy resources or the use of fossil fuels than brick, cedar, stucco, and vinyl. As you can see by these statistics, relative to outsolation, the embodied energy by fuel within brick masonry is enormous. Material transportation costs. A study of transportation requirements to complete 25,000 square feet of wall elevation. A lower number on this scale means the product is greener and more environmentally friendly. To haul 25,000 square feet of brick to a job site requires 16 tractor trailers. To haul the same amount of much lighter weight drive it outsolation the same distance requires only two trucks with minimal requirements for carrying capacity. Carbon dioxide emissions. A lower number on this scale means the product is greener and more environmentally friendly. Carbon emissions are a leading cause of pollution in our environment today. This study of carbon emissions through all stages of the life cycle produced these favorable results for outsolation. Outsolation has the lowest carbon footprint on the environment when compared to other cladding options, including brick masonry, which is looking very large and imposing once again. To complete the life cycle analysis, Drive It Outsolation must demonstrate sustainability. Sustainability is best described as the ability to perform a designed purpose for the full extent of an anticipated life expectancy. Drive It Outsolation has been used since 1969 in North America and has repeatedly demonstrated sustainability for the duration of a building life cycle. In conjunction with the maintenance guidelines set forth in the Drive It Care program, Drive-It Outsolation is as durable, robust, and sustainable as any other cladding options available. There is little doubt that Drive-It Outsolation reduces the embodied energy of buildings. As the new life cycle analysis for Drive-It Outsolation completes the full circle, I can't help but wonder how much energy could have been conserved, how the impact of construction and manufacturing could have been minimized, and how much savings could have been recognized had outsolation been used from the beginning. Is drive it outsolation a perfect wall? We believe the case for outsolation is as strong as the need to minimize the size and impact of our industry footprint on the environment. Does this make outsolation a perfect wall? Well, we can say this much. With tiny footprints and huge benefits, we truly are as green as it gets.